hello y'all so i'm going to also read this other one that he gave me and so this one was given to me <laughs> the same day actually as the one that i just posted except this one was four in the morning and this is called punishment for wickedness foretold and this is still ezekiel chapter 7 verses 2 and it says or verse 2 it says thus says the lord god to the land of israel an end the end is coming on the four corners of the land now the end is upon you my decision is made up about you so he said that to me and that his decision is made up about you and then it says and i will send my anger against you i will judge you according to your ways and bring all your abominations upon you for my eye will have no pity on you nor will i spare you but i will bring your ways upon you and your abominations will be among you then you will know that i am the lord Thus says the Lord God, a disaster, unique disaster. Behold, it is coming. An end is coming. The end has come. It has awakened against you. Your doom has come. The time has come. The day is now. And he said now to me near tumult rather than joyful shouting on the mountains now and he said to me judgment i will shortly pour my wrath on you and spend my anger against you judge you according to your ways and bring on you all your abomination my eyes will show no pity nor will i spare you I will repay you according to your ways while your abominations are in your midst. Then you will know that I, the Lord, do the smitting. And these are non-returners. These are the ones who just don't want to return. You want to serve and chase your your gods, your lowercase g gods. You want the tr traditions of the others. You want the culture of the others. When you had the original, you had the true living, you had the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. You had the sovereign God. You had the supreme God. You had God of all gods, king of all kings, lord of all lords but you would rather go chase the gods lowercase g that belong to the others but not the one not the true living one who you had instead you leave the true living god for the false gods and to serve these other idols and put them in the place of god you can't fix that void. You were created for God. You were created for Jesus. You were created for the Holy Ghost. You were created for God. Jehovah. You were created for Yahweh, Yeshua, El Roy. You were created for the Most High, which is God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit the true living God and he says I will repay you according to your ways while your abominations are in your midst then you will know that I the Lord do the smitting vengeance is the Lord and his alone behold the day behold it is coming your doom has gone violence has grown into a rod of wickedness None of them shall remain, none of their people, none of their wealth, nor anything among you. The time has come. 
the day has arrived. Let not the buyer rejoice nor the seller mourn for wrath is coming. <sighs> Let me see. For wrath is against all their multitude. Mm. Mm, the time has come, the day has arrived. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is against all their multitude. Indeed, the seller will not regain what he sold. As long as they both live. For the vision regarding all their multitude will not be averted, nor will any of them maintain his life by his iniquity. Mm. 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 Even what you've gotten, all that you've gotten for Satan, from Satan. Mm. You can't buy your way out of this one. Mm. Indeed, the seller will not regain what he sold as long as they both live. For the vision regarding all their multitude. For the vision regarding. Mm. The dream Satan sold you, the things he told you were yours and he would get. <laughs> ah, for the vision regarding. All their multitude will not be averted, nor will any of them maintain his life by his inequity. What you got in the dark, you won't even be able to keep it, nor sell it, nor profit off of it. The wealth of the wicked are laid up for the righteous. That was not in what I written, but We'll pick up 14. They have blown the trumpet and made everything ready, but no one is going to the battle. For my wrath is against all their multitude. The sword is outside and the plague and the famine are within. Famine and the plague will also consume those in the city. All of them mourning each over his own inequity. Iniquity. They will fling their silver into the street and their gold will become ab abhorrent things. Their silver and their gold will not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord, meaning all you've stored up by the hand of Satan won't keep you. All that you've been saving for a rainy day won't save you. What you've gotten from Satan. Every promise, every lie, everything you did through wickedness won't stand. So you will spend your money trying to save you but it won't work it says their silver and their gold will not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the lord they cannot satisfy their appetite nor can they fill their stomachs meaning whatever you do won't work whatever you do won't save you there's nothing you can do. They cannot satisfy their appetite, nor can they fill their stomachs for their iniquity has become an occasion of stumbling. Meaning, what you've done has become a snare to you what you've done your iniquity has become an occasion of stumbling wow 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 my only advice would be just repent repent Okay.
willing to repent and turn back to God. <sighs> that is all. Bye, you guys.